Hi everyone, my name is Dave Anderson, and today I'm going to show you how to install Parallels Desktop and Windows 7 on your Mac computer. Now, a couple things here. Parallels enables you to install Windows, so it's really the first application you're going to install. It does not include Windows, so you're actually going to need to download the trial, which is what we're going to do today, or purchase it, and then from there you're actually going to need a full working copy with registration key for Windows. Now, I've already saved my Windows ISO file down here to the desktop. We're going to cover that in the next movie, but you will need a working copy of Windows, so you might want to get that ready as you go through the tutorials. In this first tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to get Parallels, how to download it, how to install it, and from there, we'll go ahead and install Windows 7, get that all up and running, and then from there, we'll go ahead and install Storyline and show you how easy this whole process is. But the first step is to get Parallels Desktop going. So I'm going to go ahead and just download the trial. So I'm going to enter my email. And I'm gonna go ahead and just say proceed to download. Okay, so from here, we have the option to download. I'm just gonna go ahead and download the file. It's gonna take about a minute. And it's just gonna give me a, a disk image file, a DMG file, and then we'll use that to launch the installer and go through the process. So let's just give this a minute. Okay, so it looks like it should be down. And here's the file. So it's a DMG file, it's about 300 megs. I'm gonna go ahead and double click this. And from here, we can go ahead and begin the installation process. So just double click this uh, icon and it'll walk you through the steps. It might tell you that it was downloaded from the internet. Do you want to open it? Yeah, we know we do because we are the ones who downloaded it. And it goes through the regular process of just copying over some files, doing some configuration. And that's all there is to it. Now Parallels is installed. The next step is to add a virtual machine, which we'll do in the next tutorial. But at this point, you can see down here in the dock, we have the Parallels uh, icon. If I want to save that in here, I can right click Options, Keep in Dock, and it's always available to me. But at this point, it's waiting for me to install Windows. So I can't really move forward until I have Windows either on a, C a DVD, a, a thumb drive, or just an image file, which is what we're going to use. So that's all there is to installing Parallels. We'll go ahead and see you in the next movie and get this uh, Windows 7 installed on our Mac.